All right, so real quick before I start this video about the Artificer Hive, I do need to admit that my video yesterday about hazard protection was wrong. Uh, I basically got called out in the comment section, didn't realize the changes apparently that they had made to TU8 and was basically relying on some of my past information and just kind of doing some half-assed testing to you know, back it up with. Um, so I discovered that it was wrong, discovered that there were other factors that were changing the damage besides actual hazard protection. So in a nutshell, hazard protection only reduces the duration of a status effect. So that means, you know, you get less ticks, so you do get less damage, but it doesn't reduce the actual damage per tick itself. So I apologize to anyone who might have been actually affected by that video. All right, now jumping into this one. Uh, the Artificer Hive recently got, I guess, fixed and added a skill refresh that wasn't quite working when TU8 dropped. And basically, skill refresh is supposed to uh, add, you know, duration to all of your skills. I was trying to think of different ways to actually use that specific attribute of of skill refresh on the Artificer Hive, but the problem is, you know, not many skills actually have a duration that matters. I mean, a lot of the skills have a huge duration anyway, so if you look at the regular turret, the assault turret, it just has, you know, almost, you know, 300 seconds of duration. I mean, it's ridiculous. What, what do you need more duration for on it? By the time it dies, you're probably already, you know, moving on to a different area, so you need to set up a new turret. Or if you're playing on the harder difficulty, you know, like the striker drone, just dies like a champ. I mean, it, it just goes down constantly. So, I mean, in, increasing its duration doesn't really mean anything. So I was pretty much left with only a few actual choices for what would benefit the most from duration. So the first thing that I wanted to test out was actually the drone, because I thought the drone might be really good if you could just keep it up all the time and give it that 70% buff from the Artificer Hive. But the problem was in testing, I couldn't get the Artificer Hive to actually buff the stupid drone. I don't know if this is an error on, on Massive's part or what. I mean, sometimes I would get one tick per drone, so I could basically extend its duration by about 13 seconds, but it wouldn't buff it after that. It, no, nothing I could do. I couldn't put it on the ground. I couldn't uh, you know, pick it back up and try to buff it. Nothing. So it would have to go on cooldown, and then you know, it was just kind of a waste, and it was just very annoying. It didn't really matter if I was in the range or in combat. The next skill I tried was just actually for laughs, and that was the, uh, the shock trap. And I didn't even actually think this was going to work, but it does. I mean, I guess if you really want an indefinite, you know, shock field, uh, you can do this. I don't know what the reason would be. I don't know why you'd actually want to do that. But, you know, hey, you can, I guess. So, yay. The next one I wanted to test out was the incinerator turret. And this was the only one that I could actually think of might be really beneficial from it. The problem is, with the incinerator turret, it has two different durations. Okay, so the first duration is basically it not doing anything. The second duration is basically it is draining its duration at an extremely fast rate when it is, you know, actually spewing out fire. So it is basically using like five to ten times the actual duration amount per, you know, per second. So when you basically try to give it 13 seconds, you're only adding just a tiny fraction of that to the actual duration of the turret when it's actually spewing out fire. But the other option that actually seems to be really good and you know, this is a very quirky use, but the decoy skill actually benefits from it because you can heal it and it can stay up forever. So, I mean, it can be a constant distraction for the enemy. And, you know, while it may not be the best choice for, you know, a skill build user to actually have, it's something that at least has some sort of interest. So, you know, if you want to give it a try with a hybrid build or something like that, maybe that might be a good choice. But, you know, if, looking at all the other skills... I mean, you've got the, you know, the pulse ball, whatever the heck that thing's called, the little pokeball. I mean, you can throw that out and refresh it. I mean, you can, you've got the, uh, the scanner drone from the uh, sharpshooter specialization. You could maybe extend the duration of your other hives uh, if you would really want to. I mean, somebody, I mean, obviously you have to have somebody else's hive to extend the duration of, but I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no real skills that actually get a benefit from this. I mean, it's kind of pointless. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. I don't, I don't know if there's some sort of secret build that I can't quite see that works very well with this. But, you know, that's apparently the nature of the game with the Division. Half of the stuff doesn't work. The other half works very poorly. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.